Would you date a single mother? Um, ain't no good man, but these bitches stay pregnant. Uh, ain't no good man, but these bitches stay pregnant. Uh, ain't no good man, but these bitches stay pregnant. Yeah. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rome back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. So I got a video for you guys by a content creator named Janelle Gordon. Uh, back when I used to watch Donovan Sharp, I used to see her on there all the time, and that's how I got hip to her. And even um, chatted back and forth um, in the chats a couple times. Um, so I know a little bit about her, and I guess it shouldn't come to no surprise, even though that she's been in the RP spaces that she will push for men to be stepdads because she is a single mom herself so when i came across this i was like hmm like, let's see what she has to say because clearly she's trying to sell um stepfatherhood like it's a good deal without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it um so we'll chat it will start here to see what do you think about that like i know you have two brothers what Will you tell your younger brother or your older brother about that specific topic? Oh, well, I think it's hard because you're saying like my little brother is 13 and my older brother, he's 30. Yeah. I don't think they should pick on a single mom. I feel that they still have the chance to conquer a woman and create a family with them. Now, there is market for everything. There is guys older successful guys they're single they don't want to have kids anymore or they just want to like don't leave those little moments of having a baby crying anymore or nothing like that and they'd rather to have a woman who already have a kid and they already raised the most important part and they just come over and they give some men energy to them um so i think there is market for everything okay find it fast now i agree with her take i think this is uh i'd imagine this is what a lot of guys you know if they had brothers they would probably say this how i'm like however when it comes to women it's a little bit more mixed because you know they're being selfish and thinking about themselves uh but the part when she says there's a market for everything i think this is the part where women don't really like what they're seeing because when you say there's a market for everything let me put it to you like this uh majority of single moms typically seem to be somewhere around in their 30s or 40s right i mean i'm sure there are some in their 20s but a lot of the ones you see complaining are in their 30s and 40s and they usually complain because they can't find men that on their age that are equally yoked that want to deal with women their age and things of that nature this is the problem that single moms are having because you still can run a call or come across a lot of guys in their 30s and 40s that are childless like myself a lot of the guys that watch my channel are seem to be in their 30s and 40s and are childless and like as a matter of fact man hey if you in your 30s or 40s and, and you single and childless man drop it in the uh, comments because I've, I've seen it before where I've, dozens of people who watch me are men that are in their 30s and 40s and childless. So that is the problem that you're running across. And what that tells me is, is that what's available, what's available, available to these women are the same men that they probably wouldn't have gave the time of day to when they were in their 20s and hopping around and doing God knows what. So this is why we tell women like this to deal with other men your age or older than you that already have kids and probably don't want kids anymore but a lot of those women don't want to mess with those men and i think you might see why here coming up check this out okay find it fascinating that um 
people got so triggered by this. So what people aren't triggered by um, or what they are triggered by is obviously a reflection of um, what needs to change. It's, it's, it's um, so triggering is just something that means that there's like growth there to be had. I love what you said about um, there being a market for everything. I think the problem with fret, like the fresh and fit dogma of like, go for these young virgins or whatever. It's just, first of all, we just debunked that method last night on the show. Cause we talked about that. I actually looked up the stats. The average woman has had 19.6 partners, right? Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, now we didn't divulge the specific age group. Like he was narrowing it down. So we know that women have had sexual partners, period. So the idea of going for these juvenile women who, you know, are barely out of high school, it's it's such a detriment to our society and to men who really want to be, quote, high value men to look at age as the only um, or as the main factor. determining factor for a high value woman. Someone at 18 or even in their early 20s, no disrespect if you are, because you obviously don't fall in that category. They're not high value. They haven't gone through enough in life to even have those metrics. Um, a lot of them are just a hot mess, as we saw from the panel last night, right? Yeah. It takes sometimes a woman, and I know for myself, who I've dated a very prominent um, person in the personal development world, who was about 30, he works with Tony Robbins, he's on stage with him more than he is. Um, he was about 30 years older than me. And so I've dated 30 years up, and I learned so much from that experience. And, you know, he did want to pursue marriage with me, but he didn't want to have more children. And and this was a few years back and I did. So obviously there are men, like you said, out there that do want to date a single woman. And that man is extremely high value. Like he makes a lot of money. He's very well respected by some of the top leaders, celebrities, people on the planet for his skill set. So to say that high, that single moms have no like merit and art can't be, you know, can't get a high value woman. It's just it's asinine. And the fact that you said there's a market for it, correct? Um, okay. So now, as you guys know, like I mentioned earlier, she is a single mom. That's why I truly believe she has this stance because you can't be in the RP manosphere space and sit over here in a, and agree and understand, you know, the troubles of pair bonding with women having these really high body counts. And then at the same time have this stance. So, this is why I wanted to react to this because I know a bit about her background. Now, I did not know that a few years back she was dating a guy that much older. However, I do know, and maybe this was prior to him or after, she was dating a guy that was actually a lot younger than her. Last time I checked, I believe she's a couple years older than me. She's probably about 41, 42. Has a, has a son that's like teenage teenager type age like 11 12 or something like that probably older now and she was dealing with a guy that was a lot younger than her and even she admitted that you know with him being so much younger and still him still being on the come up i could understand if you know he cheated or went and had children with other women even though she claims that she wants to have another child herself but notice that she said when she was dealing with the older man, he did not want to have any more children. This is the dilemma that a lot of single moms deal with. Because there are some single moms out there that still want to have more children. But they just want to find a man that is going to stick by them. But the problem with that is, is that you already have a child that's not biologically his. Therefore, a man is going to... Is uh, unfortunately is going to feel like he can't discipline his child the same way he can your child that's not biologically his. So I remember Kevin Samuels um, saying that he dealt with that with um, one of his ex wives. So no surprise there. But like she said, there's a market for it. But I think the problem is, is that y'all tend to run into guys who probably don't want to have any more children or they don't want to deal with the stress of dealing with your children after they haven't already had theirs too. So that's another um, bump in the road that single moms deal with. Let's right, keep correct. it moving. Um, so I think that's the main, the main thing is that there is someone for everyone, but these very like 
broad generic things like you have to go for this young da 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 like it's just really messing up the social dynamics of what like a healthy family unit could have and if a man could come in like you said and give some of that energy to the, to nurture that son or daughter whoever it might be like that's that takes a lot of that takes a lot of presence it takes a lot of patience and it takes a high level of consciousness to be able to step in and pick up where another man left off and yes. he or he did it complete yeah. or did it fulfill. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. And it also requires a lot of sacrifice that a lot of women aren't willing to give themselves. But continue. Let's just be honest. There's a lot of ratchet single moms out there that are just using a man for a meal ticket. Um, remember that viral video of that woman that was mad that she didn't, he didn't buy McDonald's for all her 20 kids or whatever it was. <laughs> so it was some, I think he knows what I'm talking about. It was, it was like, she was like offended that he didn't, he didn't buy, um, happy meals for all the kids. And so he like was, she was really mad. It was, it was hilarious, but like there's, yeah, there's ratchet moms, single moms out there that their only goal is to get a paycheck. We get that. But there's also a lot of positives that come with women who've had children. Number one, this this main attribute that's missing in so many women today is this feminine nurturing energy that is absolutely necessary to be a mother. I mean, to be a good mother, let's say, right? right? And you can look at a woman's children and how she takes care of herself, a mother, and tell if she has that. Um, some of the best compliments I've ever received in my life from my past partner's relationships have been that I'm the most nurturing woman on the planet. And a really high value man wants that in his life to help him as he builds his empire so that she's taking care of the house, she's taking care of the kids or whatever emotional needs that he might have. Because men do have emotional needs, even though that was a topic last night too. <laughs> yeah, it's just, like mention that cry in front of the Roman. Like, like the whole thing. Come on. Like there's certain aspects that that was like non, you know, obviously we can talk about. So I think the fact that women can be extremely nurturing, that's a quality that men really love and crave and they're not getting it. It's obvious because men are fucking hoes all day, but they still want to F more, which means that there's something missing. If they were getting everything they needed in a woman, they wouldn't just be out finding the next three or four to bang. That there would be something that is like, okay, I'm being fulfilled. And that comes with that feminine, divine feminine energy, that essence, that nurturing that many single mothers have as non-mothers do not have. And so that's a huge component. Like they know how to take care. They literally raise a, some, some, a little human, you know, into like adulthood. So why could they not take care of you in those respects? Yeah. I also think that um, single mothers, they have like a nat natural uh, masculine energy. Can I call it? Because they have to raise a child doing two yeah. different two roles. roles. Right, it's very challenging. So, mm -hmm. not not in, not not every every man is gonna be mentally able, yeah, to tolerate her maturity or yes. her energy. Right? Why? Because you have a kid, you have to teach him so many things uh -huh. that a man also should be doing. But you have to do everything. Now you have a a man next to you, and you you're also kind of like a leader. Yeah, you know. So not every man is able to confront that. Well, a good woman will know when that, like that divine masculine energy comes in that presence that like, that's her time to like, let go and let him sort of take the reins. That's very hard for many women. I would I'm asked a lot, like, how do I balance that in relationships? It's a lot of feminine practice that I do in my personal life from, you know, meditation, breath work, yoga, sexual stuff that I do with my womb, my yoni to really cultivate that feminine essence, because you're right. There's times I do have to be quite masculine, quite dominant because I'm raising a biracial child in a very racist country, you know, that really wants to, you know, doesn't really care about him. I tell them that all the time. If the world gave you what you deserved, it wouldn't be much, darling. You're half black and you live in a very, one of the seventh wealthiest areas in the world. So they're looking at you like you're nothing. And I said, but that's not how you're going to be count. If you act like Tony Robbins always says, like the world gives you whatever you ask for, not a million more, not a penny less. So like I'm teaching him now those things that you ask for what you want and you're always polite, but you say, no, that's not what I want. I want this. And here's the, what I'm bringing. So 
you're right. It is a very masculine job that you have to do both, but the right woman knows how to play her role and sur surrender, submit, and acquiesce her power to that man that comes in to say, okay, I see what you're, what card you're dealing with. And yeah, it may not be like a royal flesh, but I'm willing to like take, you know, take a take, chance on this. Yeah. And then you hand him the cards and let him manage the deck. Okay, two things. I I gotta I gotta push back a little bit on her when it comes to this because you can't sit over here and try to use the girl that got crazy at her baby daddy about not buying all the kids McDonald's. You really can't use that in, as an example when you literally go after successful men yourself. So to sit over here and say, yeah, it's some women, it's some baby mamas out here that are only looking for a check. I'm like, okay, when was the last time you dealt with a man that made the head the average salary? Don't worry, I'll wait. Exactly. What the fuck are we talking about? The so for you to sit over here and say that was ridiculous. Uh, and then second of all, it's really, really sad when you have to sell the fact that single moms are more feminine than childless women in order to get men to want to take a single mom serious that right there if anything that right there shows me how how worse off the women are that has nothing to do with men you ain't gonna you ain't gonna sit over here and shame men into especially childless men to deal with single mothers just because they crave femininity so much that they can't get it from a woman that's childless if a woman that's childless can't be feminine that's a her problem that's a sisterhood problem that y'all need to get checked and taken care of y'all can't sit over here and say oh well i'm feminine now because i'm raising this little child like come on man that's bullshit because ain't no woman going to accept a man saying, oh, I became a man now because I got to raise this child. A woman is going to look at you and should have been like, you should have been doing that in the first place. Once again, proving my point that women don't want to give men the same grace that they want men to give them. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way I know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because that's with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also look out for the Travel Blog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.